Hello everybody, this is Diane. I have a happy mail to share with you today. This is from my friend Debbie in Michigan and she sent me two of these boxes, the medium flat rate boxes, and they feel pretty full. I just opened the flaps and uh, dug out her card and read that. So I'm going to set this down on the floor and pull things out. Like a bunch of linens in this first bundle. I love linens, as you know. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Looks like a tablecloth. And she gives me permission to dispose of whatever I don't want. She's destashing and is letting me deal with them as I want to. So some of these, like this, is big and I wouldn't use the whole thing, but I would keep a part of it. And I was collecting a few linen pieces, so I might have to add, you know, to put in a desash or uh, an Etsy listing. So some of these items you might find there. This one is pretty with the purple embroidery. Looks like an old dresser scarf. This one has some vibrant flowers embroidered on it. So it looks like a portion of a table covering, but look at these. I think I think these are hand done. I've never seen embroidery like that though. Interesting. Wow, that was a lot of work. Oh, this is pretty. It's a blue and cream colored lace. Lovely. Thank you, Debbie, for thinking of me. Ooh, how pretty. Look at those colors. She used a variegated embroidery yarn there. You can tell. Pretty blues on the, the bow and the flower and that edging. And it's a textured linen that it was uh, embroidered on. Oh, look at that. This is unique. It's got these delicate flowers in a garland. There's a lady there on one end. And this one holding up a part of the garland there. And there's another one. Oh, how neat. That's very unique. Oh, this is pretty. The pink roses. It's that textured cloth again. Heavier. It's got some crochet roses in there. Aren't they pretty? And just a crochet edging on the other end. I love that. This is a flower basket embroidered on. It's a round tablecloth and it has one, two, three baskets embroidered on it with a little bit of a crocheted edging. Maybe it's crochet, maybe it's embroidery. She said she washed these linens a year ago and they've been boxed with mothballs, so I can smell the mothballs. There's a blue cross stitch pattern on this. Oh, isn't that pretty? I just love blue and white. Yeah, that's really pretty. And it's a big, it's a big piece. That's half of it. The 
This one is blue and red embroidery. It looks like a folk art design. It's so cute. And there are, it's a square, so there are four, yeah, four of these designs, plus these little scattered motifs. That is cute. Look at that sweet bird. Those are beautiful flowers. And there are two birds on this one. It's quite a long piece. And, oh, that's beautiful. This reminds me of art, art, um, Art Nouveau. That's really pretty. Look at those thick, knotted flowers there. And there are two of that design. And these little bonus pieces. Pretty. I love that. I'm going to have to make something with that. Wow, Debbie, you sent me a lot of linens. This is a big piece. It's probably a tablecloth. Oh, I love that orange. All right, I'm going to try to open it up a little bit so I can show you. Okay, so this is the center right here. So this design goes around the center. I love the colors. I have to see if it's hand done. Oh my gosh. I think it is, but it's so neat and tidy. Look at that. That's the that's the underside. Maybe it's machine done, but it looks like it's hand done. So these flowers go all the way around the middle in a medallion type of shape. It's not circular, but I guess you just have to have a general idea because I can't open it all up on camera. They are beautiful. These are great colors for the journal I'm working in. <laughs> Don't know if I want to cut it up for this journal though. And this, Debbie, did you give me pieces of this before? Somebody did. Because I ha I've had some with this bright color and the shiny, it's a shiny uh, embroidery floss and they were larger X's. So I've had either pieces of, I've had pieces similar to this, let's just say that, from somebody. But these are so bright and pretty. And this is a larger tablecloth also. That was one box. This is in box two. Look at that. How beautiful. Look at, it's got this shaped edge with the crochet and then the embroidery. So much work. Wow. I think I hear um, dueling lawnmowers out there. Look at the pretty vining. Just this trailing vine here. There's probably four corners of that. So pretty. And the tablecloth, the linen, is just beautiful. That's really good quality linen, you can tell. Okay, 
this is blue and white. That's a very soft yarn. I, I can't even really feel it. I wondered if it was just painted on, but no, there, it's a yarn. So pretty. I love the blue and white, like I said. I might have to do a blue and white journal. That's beautiful. And a very uh, lovely pattern. I'm going to put this on my kitchen table and see how it looks. Oh, it's got a stain. A couple of stains. Here are some chives. And some tulips. Looks like needlepoint. That's really neat. a little rose and some pink flowers. Also needlepoint. This is a thicker yarn so you don't get the um, as much detail. It's very pretty. Another cruel piece with a thick yarn. That's pretty. I like the colors. Ooh, beautiful. Quite a long piece of this. I think it was cut off of something. Looks like it was cut. Beautiful. I can see this hanging off the edge of the bottom of a book or something. Here's this. That's a very fine crochet with a very thin yarn. This might be machine made. I think it has to be. What do you think? It looks too perfect to be handmade but I don't know. There's that. That's really pretty and I, I like the blue edging. And one with purple edging. Cute little sizes. Here's another big piece in bright colors with a folk art design. And again, it's that lustrous yarn. Wow, vibrant. This is so neat, it's big. This would have been in the middle, I think it's too big for a dresser scarf, so it would have been in the middle of a table, I think, but look at those colors. And it's a very interesting piece of linen. And the edging. I love the scalloped edge on this. Oh, there's another piece. This is bigger. I think this is a tablecloth. Wow. Beautiful. And there's blue and white here. This is a big tablecloth. Blue and white cross stitch. Wow, Debbie, you sent me a lot. I will wash all of these again and I will have to put some of pieces of some of these in my shop. I cannot use all of these, but thank you very much for sharing with me, Debbie, and I will certainly keep a lot of them. I just love the colors in so many of these pieces, but I will be happy to share also. 
You can't just hoard things and have them sitting here not being used. So, thank you, Debbie. And um, I will, you watch for these to be used in my shop, or in my journals, I mean, because I will be using them in my journals. So that was fun. It's always fun to get a box in the mail like this. And I hope you had fun watching. Now, I'm going to get to work on this journal today. I did some work on it this weekend. I have said that I try not to work on the weekends, but I didn't think it was work because this is, I'm just having fun with this. So you'll get to see details of it in the next video probably. So I just had a lot of fun. Just I was just playing. I would come in here and play for a while and I got a lot of work done on the book while I was playing. Go figure. <clears throat> so thank you again for watching and come on back for the next video and I'll see you soon. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.